subscribe for daily gaming videos and vlogs. Stay tuned. Welcome back to our video. Today I'm going to be showing you my Nerf collection. So recently, or just yesterday, I did a Nerf gun unboxing. So now I'm going to show you all the Nerf guns that I have collected over the years. Um, let's get right into it. But before we do, if you do nothing to join this video, don't forget to crush that like button and subscribe and share this video with someone who think might like it. Let's do this. Okay guys, so starting off, this is the first Nerf gun that I ever had. Um, so basically, it will shoot a little target onto your hand or wherever you're pointing it and it's right there that's the thing that makes the shine and this thing moves so you can move it around like that um so that's one of the coolest things about this gun is the target um there are two places to hold um two nerf darts and this is the mechanism to cock it like that and then this is where the bullet that you would shoot is so right here and this thing fires with a lot of power but not too much so it wouldn't hurt anything um, I usually just like shoot it at the wall and stuff. Um, so it just shines a little dart. And then to get the light to just show up, you barely pull the trigger and then you shoot. And then that's how it works. So that's about it. That's number 10. Or number 10. I wouldn't call it number 10 because I don't even know if I have 10. This is number one, I guess. Number two is the first Nerf gun that I actually had that had a pump on it. So basically, this thing has a what would you call it a drum i think is what it's called and then the trigger is down here um so it's actually a very comfortable gun it's very big and i'd say that's about the only flaw with it um but of course it has gotta be steady and then you can hold it pretty good um but you're probably wondering how to shoot it and of course you do the pump but this isn't like a normal nerf gun so when you pump it like that and then you shoot it will shoot since this thing when you turn it when you pull the trigger it turns it this way or clockwise i guess you could say and it doesn't actually shoot the one that's right there it shoots the one that is right here weird enough it's because it turns then it shoots but the one that i just unboxed the other day is counterclockwise but it shoots the one that is in front very weird but you know it doesn't matter but the cool thing about it is you can do this as many times as you want it gets harder and harder but eventually it will get to where this thing will shoot with full power so i'm trying not to let it shoot far so like that and then we'll pull the trigger on my hand ow that hurt but not too bad because the one this is just again this is just a nerf gun um uh, again i don't really know what this um i don't know what, what bullets or darts that this gun actually came with um but this is the darts that i use just these green ones with a grayish tip i guess um so that's basically this gun it's a pump gun and it is just oh this is actually isn't even a nerf gun by the way this isn't a nerf gun it is by busby toys by the way i forgot to mention that some guns on this list actually aren't um nerf guns um, but most of them are. So, um, I guess let's go on to number three. This is number two. This next gun is a Nerf gun, and it is the Nerf Jolt. So, this is definitely one of my favorite Nerf guns, just because it's very small, and it only holds one bullet. Actually, that's not a good thing, but it helps with the whole being small thing. Um, I forgot to load this, so I'm going to grab a bullet really quick. Okay, guys, I have a bullet. Okay, I'm back. And this is just a bullet. I just chose one of these elite bullets. Um, so basically, what you do is you just pull this thing down. I guess it's just a little vertical orange line with two horizontal lines going left and right. That's about the most technical way to explain it. But then it just shoots like that. And so like this. And that just goes up. Um, this is the next Nerf gun I got. I think I'm, I'm doing these guns in the order that I bought them in. Um, so this thing does this, obviously. Um, and actually, I'm going to show you this one's shooting. Hopefully, you guys can see this. There it went. Um, so I just shot it at the ground. And sorry, I'm not shooting them too much in this video. 
but I'm trying to show you as much as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, that is the Nerf Jolt. So this is one of my favorite guns. Let's move on to number four. Okay guys, so technically this was gonna be number three because I actually got this one first in that Jolt one that I just showed you. That is the one that I got after the one that has that pump on it. So technically I bought this one before that one. But um, this is apparently going to be number four on the list, even though it wasn't supposed to be. Um, so this was my first small Nerf gun. And not that other one that I just showed you. The next one that was going to be in this spot was even smaller. But sadly, I accidentally did it out of order. But I was just going to let you guys know. And this one is actually kind of an improvement. But I wanted a smaller one. But anyway, this one came first. And what I'm going to do, or you see has two little loading holes right here. This is what I didn't like about the other, yet so for some reason I really like the other design better. It's really weird, but <laughs> then it has this little loading hole right here, and it's really the same as the other one, just it has these two, and it's a little bit bulkier on the edge, and this is just a Nerf gun. It doesn't say jolt or anything, it doesn't say what kind it is, it's just a Nerf gun, I guess. Um, so then you would pull that down, same as the other one, and then it goes, oh, that one's actually a little bit harder. So I'm going to shoot this one. There it went. Dang, that went all the way across my room. Wow. I don't even know where that bullet went. Okay, well, I'm going to find that bullet in just a second. But, um, this is number four on the list, I believe. Yeah, I think it's number four. Maybe number five. I really don't know. Okay, guys. Well, number five on the list is actually not even a Nerf gun. It is an AF gun, which stands for Adventure Force, by the way. Um, and apparently this is the X shot. So this one actually came with a bigger gun. Also, one other of these, so this gun, but there's two of them. Um, I don't know where the other one went. I can only find this one, so this is the one I'm showing in the video. And this gun is kind of like a Nerf gun, but, like, it's not, obviously. So, like, this one is, I used Nerf bullets for it, but, like, it's not as strong, or maybe it's stronger than a Nerf gun. Um, I like the ring on it. That's very nice. The other Nerf guns don't have that. They just have those two little lines that you pull. Um, the one that I showed at the beginning had the ring, but it wasn't movable like that. It was just straight out. Um, so I like it. And I think that fires a little bit less than the Nerf gun. But this is a really nice gun. And the only reason I wouldn't recommend this to anybody is because you have to turn the, um, drum yourself. And it would be really nice if it did that on its own. But this is a decently, um, small adventure force gun i guess i'm gonna call it but it's, I, i'm just gonna call it a nerf gun probably not actually i don't even know but this is a good gun but every time you shoot it so i'm gonna shoot it so like that every time you do that you would have one spot that's empty then you'd have to turn it and i feel like you wouldn't really have time to do that in a nerf war like in a nerf war it's like a boom 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 you know like so, kind of like the one that I unboxed yesterday. But, there is nothing wrong with the gun. It's just, I feel like there could be some improvements. But, it's definitely a nice gun for its size. Um, the other gun is definitely a lot smaller than this. But, it's a nice little gun if you're doing like an Adventure Force War or Nerf War. Whatever you want to use it in. By the way, there might be a Nerf War in the future. I don't know how long until it's going to be until we do one. I don't think I have enough Nerf guns yet. Um, but, we will probably be using these if we do end up doing a nerf war just because i don't want to have to buy like 15 nerf guns because i don't have that much money because <laughs> the one we just bought the other day only was eight dollars and the other ones that were in walmart costed like 29 or like 19 but um basically this is just the adventure force gun it's a small little pistol i guess you could say but let's move on to number six came with the number five spot um this is the number six spot obviously so this is also an af it came in the same box as i just said and this is my favorite gun it's not a nerf gun but it is so good it i put nerf bullets in it um they work really good with it can't really really remember what these types of gun came with um what kind of bullets but this is one of my favorite guns because of just the design of it like this. So here's the barrel. It has a two shot. 
So that's really nice. Um, and then you see this little orange thing on the back. If you pull that down, this part of the gun bends out. And this is where you load the bullets. Um, once you've already done that, you can just shut that. And um, what you do is you open up the back. And or can you guys see that? Okay, so basically you open up the back like this. It's not too hard to open. Okay, I'm just trying to do it without the bullets falling out. But four Nerf bullets or Adventure Force bullets, whatever you were using, it doesn't really matter, um, can fit in there. I think the box said you can only put two, but I feel like there's no reason why you could put four. I wouldn't put more than four just because they would start falling out. Um, but yeah, that is where you can keep some extra, extra ammo. <clears throat> and to cock this gun, what you're going to want to do is get this thing and you're going to want to pull it down. So like that and then these will be ready there's no way of knowing which one of these is gonna fire but if you fired this one last time then this one is gonna fire and of course if this one goes and this one's gonna fire so let's see oh it was the top one so the top one fired that's why you gotta be careful with your aiming on this one i wouldn't try and be too accurate with it just because you never know which one's gonna fire and i like to know which one's gonna fire so i'm gonna go ahead and fire the bottom one like that and then next time the top one will fire um so basically this is just a cool shotgun um rifle i don't really know what you'd call it so i just like to do this and i just like do this i've never been in a nerf war before but when i'm aiming at like a bucket or something to knock something over i'll just aim it like that and I'll just pull the trigger. And if you really want to be fast at it, you can pull this down. So like that. That's one of my favorite things about this gun is how fast you can shoot it. Um, so the bullets don't go too far. And they shoot decently fast. Um, again, this isn't a Nerf gun. It's Adventure Force. So they don't shoot too fast. <clears throat> but some, this one actually does maybe shoot faster some of, than some of my Nerf guns. I don't really know which one's faster. It might just be me. But, um, this is definitely one of my favorite guns. I'd probably use the, um, Nerf Elite Disruptor and then the Adventure Force, um, rifle or shotgun. I don't know what this thing's called, but, um, let me see if it says it anywhere. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it has a name. Yeah. I'm just gonna call this the Adventure Force shotgun why not i don't even know but um yeah so basically this is just a cool little gun and let's move on to number seven okay guys so next gun is also not a nerf gun it is a magic gun i don't really know um it's magic spelled with a j let me try and get that to focus there we go i kind of brightened it up um but anyway so basically this gun is just a normal gun and it shoots very fast. So it's basically kind of like a small shotgun. Um, it looks like you could put like a scope up here if you wanted to get like cool with it, I guess. Um, this gun is very small. Um, you can't really hold it up against your shoulder because you kind of like, you do, you're doing this basically. And that just hurts. Um, so I would just, I usually just shoot it like that. I just kind of like hold it like this. You know, I don't really do anything with it. Oh, and by the way, to cock it, you would just pull that down and then the bullet is right here and listen to this thing that's so loud so make sure you always put a bullet in it because if if you don't you, you're probably gonna go deaf um but this thing shoots with a lot of power actually it doesn't i think it's because i stopped it as soon as it came out of the barrel but i'm just gonna shoot this thing at my floor so you guys can see this yeah that shot super fast so these this gun definitely shoots faster than nerf and adventure force um so again it's m-a-j-i-k um again magic with a g i mean a j instead of a um g so that's pretty cool i guess i don't know how i'm spinning this but it looks super cool oh epic okay I don't even know at this point. Um, but yeah, next gun is going to be the Nerf AccuStrike. So we're getting back into the Nerf, luckily. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the number eight spot. Okay, guys. So this is definitely one of my favorite Nerf guns. Um, definitely not my favorite favorite because my favorite one is the one I just unboxed, obviously. Um, but this is the Nerf AccuStrike series. <clears throat> so this is the Falcon Fire. Um, so you can get a look at that there on the barrel and this thing is 
super cool. Um, you just do this to cock it, and to unload it, you, you to be honest with you, you really can't. Um, I forgot the ammo, so I'm gonna go grab some really quick. Okay, guys, I'm back, and to load this gun. It's actually pretty simple. By the way, these are two extra bullets down here. You can't really get them out because this isn't the bullet that was originally designed for them. Um, but that's okay, I guess. Um, but basically, to open this or to um, load it, what you're going to want to do is pull this back like that. Okay. And then if you look down in there, there you see that little hole right there? That's where you put the bullet. This thing, by the way, is like impossible to unload. Um... Yeah, I can't even get my finger in there to unload it. So, um, yeah, don't load this thing if you're not going to shoot it because, yeah, you're not getting that bullet out. <laughs> um, but basically, you have to do that to um, get ready to shoot. And it has a little circle up here so you can really aim. Um, if you really wanted to, you could put a Nerf dart in there. Well, maybe. Yeah, I guess you could. It kind of looks dumb, though. I don't know. But, um... Oh, also, you can't really get these out. I don't know if I've already said this, but this is not the Nerf Dart designed for it, so you can't get these out. I think I already said that. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> basically, um, this is a gun that shoots decently fast, so I'm going to shoot it. There it is. So, basically, this is just the Nerf Strike, and it doesn't really do much other than just shoot one dart. So, um, yeah, that is the Nerf Strike. Number nine spot, I have the Nerf Elite Disruptor. So this is the gun that I just unboxed, and this is definitely my favorite Nerf gun. So basically, to load this thing, you just have this little drum right here, and then you just stick in all of your Nerf darts. I've used the same Nerf darts for the entire video. Um, this is the last gun. Um, so basically, this one just has a little um, pullback thing right there. I don't know what you call that, honestly. And then it just shoots like this. So, it shoots really hard. Um, this is probably harder than the Adventure Force small pistol gun. Um, so, yeah. This is one of my favorite ones, as I already said. Maybe my favorite one is that shotgun. I don't know. Leave down in the comments. What What is your favorite gun? Because I like a lot of these guns. But, yeah, I think I'm going to stick to my original opinion. This is my favorite gun. Um, but, um, to, this is the favorite part, my favorite part about this gun is the slam fire. So you hold down the trigger and then you pull this back and that will shoot multiple bullets. And then you just keep rapid firing that until you're done with all six bullets. Um, this is definitely one of my loudest Nerf guns, actually. I think that magic gun, spelled with a J, is definitely my loudest Nerf gun. Or not nerf. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> um, but this, as I said, shoots. I mean, it, it's it's pretty hard. Like it shoots decently well. But uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please crush that like button and subscribe and share this video with someone who you think might like it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.